Hello and welcome to another King Skyline video. Today we're going to be looking at Daisy Editor and Daisy Editor Loader. So you want to subscribe to both of these and make sure you subscribe to Dabs Framework too. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go and put Dabs Framework and Daisy Editor Loader on the server. So if we go and grab Dabs Framework just there and Daisy Editor Loader and copy them over to here make sure they're running in the server startup we put daisy editor dabs framework before editor what we do is we'll just check what this is running from so test server generous plus if we start our server now just to generate the editor file We should be able to go into our test folder, our test server, and now we have editor files. So now we can close our server down. Now the editor files folder. So what we can do is we can go into Daisy now. We can load Daisy editor. And we can load the mods that need to be loaded with it. And just hit play. So now we're going to actually going to go in and play some objects. We're going to export it in a file that Daisy Editor Loader is going to recognize. And our server will load it. And we can also generate some loot while we're in there too. So the server knows where to spawn the loot. So now we're in Daisy Editor Loader. Uh, well, Daisy Editor, sorry. We can open up our map. Right, so while I'm here, let's go and quickly make some folders. Documents, Daisy, Editor, we'll call this one Test. So now we can go back into Daisy. And if we go down to Prison Island. And spawn uh, school. If we really wanted to, we could build the school. Uh, we, we can delete that. We can place a couple more towers. All right, so now we just have a couple of extra buildings placed. What we can do is we can do export and we can do map group pos and if we put this in our test file and we go p island now we can go to file save as and we can go back into that test file call this one prison island rework hit save now we can come out of Daisy Editor. We can close down Daisy completely. We open up our server files. So where your database file would be and your CFG files. We can go to Edit Files. We can now also open My Documents. We can go to Daisy, Editor and Test. And what we do is we'll put the prison island rework.dze inside the test file, the editor files folder, and we can open up map group pos. We can also open up the one we called prison island XML. We can copy these three right here. 
we just put them put them at the bottom of our MacBook positive file just like that now our build in there will have the loot and the uh, our server will have the loot and the free buildings there so what we'll do is we'll start our test server let's see if we can log in Dabs framework and edit a loader. Nice. Just be loading in here now. Now we can zip on over to Prison Island and see if our stuff's there. As soon as Daisy decides to load, thank you. And Prison Island, it's all the way down the bottom here. There we go, there's our extra towers, and um, I'm not sure if they have any loot on them, as of yet. I don't know if they have loot on them at all, normally. What do they do? Maybe loot just needs to respawn. Haven't done a wipe yet. But there we go, that's how we add loot and buildings to with daisy editor and daisy editor loader thank you for watching hope this helped if it did please leave a like and a subscription below have a good day and enjoy your daisy did you know that devil's house creations now has a patreon page we have two different membership levels we have the angel membership and the devil membership both have access to the devil's island daisy map when it comes out for alpha release so if you haven't Come join us now.